I'm John Raymer. And I'm Summer Albertson. And we just recently launched the World Peace and Global Unity Campaign on June 21st. The Global Unity Compassion Games begin on September 9th and continue through the 24th. The campaign peaks on the International Day of Peace on Thursday the 21st and culminates with the World Peace Weekend. On Sunday, we will attempt to break the world record for the largest global synchronized meditation. There's this other featured way that is part of this whole experience that is a compassion relay. And so there is this, there is a compassion torch that is passed to different champions of compassion. And like the Olympics, there is that pre-games, right, where people are, are passing the torch to different communities and, and different the people that are really doing the work out there in this world. So that is also part of this experience. The torch is being passed as we speak. The campaign launched on June 21st, the solstice, with synchronized events taking place around the world. In Seattle, Hereditary Chief Phil Lane Jr. performed a sunrise ceremony at the Points of Light Service Unites Conference. He passed the torch to Kaya George, granddaughter of Chief Dan George and representative of the seventh generation. In Hawaii, Chief Arvo Looking Horse honored World Peace, Prayer, and Sacred Sites Day, and in New York City at the UN and all over the world, recognized International Yoga Day, honoring our union and connection. Then on June 25th, it was the 50th anniversary of the first live global satellite TV production. The BBC program called Our World included the Beatles, who composed and performed All You Need Is Love. The Summer of Love was launched to the largest television audience ever. Connected like never before, the overview effect can produce a shift in cognitive awareness and attitude. First reported on by the astronaut seeing Earth as a tiny fragile ball of life hanging in the void. Boundaries vanish, conflicts become a little less important. We recognize that we really are one human family. The campaign and the compassion games empower us to unify, to collaborate across divides, synchronize our shared intentions, and gamify our compassionate action globally and locally. We are launching the Compassionate Cities League as an example of unprecedented unified action amongst a network of partner cities, regions, and communities. Want to play? Next year will be the 20th anniversary of the Good Friday Agreement and the healing journey that has transformed the troubles in Ireland. What can we learn about the journey? We will learn from Compassionate Belfast and Sisters of Faith for Peace. The next three cities have not let terrorism divide them. On September 9th, the Global Unity Games will kick off in Manchester with the Faith Network from Manchester. We greatly admire their hashtag, we refuse to be enemies. We pass the Compassion Torch to London Compassionate London, home of religious scholar Karen Armstrong, who won the TED Prize and wished for a charter for Compassion, one of our strategic partners in this campaign. Then on September 11th, we pass the torch to Compassionate NYC and our partners 9-11 Day, Peaceful Tomorrows, We the World, and the United Nations. There are teams throughout the Americas clear out to the left coast, where Compassionate Silicon Valley aims to become the first compassionate county with all 15 cities affirming the charter and participating in the games. The next three cities offer models of hope. We carry the torch to compassionate Netherlands and visit Rotterdam, The Hague, and Amsterdam. Then the torch heads to Asia, Australia, India, and Africa. In Tokyo, the World Peace and Prayer Society encourages cities to plant peace poles and the mayors for peace with 7,000 cities calls for an end to nuclear weapons. In Australia, the compassionate city Gold Coast participates in next year's Commonwealth Games and lays the groundwork for Australia, a continent of compassion, launching in September of 2020. Throughout India and Africa, the cooperation circles from the United Religions Initiative and chapters from Play for Peace will break new ground as they sign up and play in the games for the third year in a row. 
Then the torch heads to the Middle East and compassionate United Arab Emirates, and we recognize His Excellency Sheikh Abdallah bin Baya, the President of Promoting Peace in Muslim Societies. The torch heads to Bethlehem, then to Jerusalem, where we look to bring the light of compassion to one of the most challenging struggles on our planet at this time. That's the spirit of this, is that we're in this together. And the more participation that happens in my community and in your community is good for all of us. And that's where really the spirit of building bridges really comes to play.